Hey everyone, welcome back to the Track Limits Podcast. I'm your host, Swish, with my co-host, Hello. Kenny. We're here in Toronto, our home city. Yes. We have a wonderful race this weekend, the Honda Indy Toronto, and we have a dynamic racer who's joined the pod, driving the number 14 Chevrolet, Let's go. Santino Ferrucci. Ooh. Welcome. What's happening, guys? Well, how's How going doing? on? Doing great, enjoying Toronto. Yeah. Had some good dinner last night. Nice. Uh, also enjoying the weather. <laughs> yeah. Not going to lie. <laughs> Question. I mean, I left Dallas uh, Wednesday morning. Yeah. It was 85 degrees at 5.45 a.m. and 95% humidity. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. That's me. an escape. This is better. Yeah. 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 Better. When I landed and got off the plane, I was like, yes. life. <laughs> this feels amazing. <laughs> It's like I forgot what the Northeast feels like. Oh my God. Uh, do you do you enjoy Toronto the city? I know you've been here a few times now. Yeah. Yes, I do. Uh, I do love coming here. It's a lot of fun. Actually, believe it or not, it's the first time I've ever flown into your airport. Billy here. Bishop. Uh, or the no, Pearson. Why, why Pearson. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, first time I've ever flown into Pearson. I've always driven, driven. into Toronto because I grew up in Connecticut. And last year when we flew in, uh, we were on the team plane. So I never went through customs or through the airport. So <laughs> I've heard nightmare stories. <laughs> Indeed. And I got through customs in like 15 minutes. Oh, I was you like, got lucky. Yeah. yeah. I also didn't check a bag. So I was like, ah. in, out, good to go. Did yeah. they ask you what you were doing in Toronto? And you were like, oh. Well. I didn't even talk to a border oh, agent. Oh, you didn't talk to the agent? It was agent. completely automated, man. Wow. I clicked all the boxes. I actually told them I was working. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> well, as much as I am doing some leisure stuff yeah. here, yeah. I kind of am working. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, there's, you know, they swiped the little card thing at the end and. Wow. I walked right out of the airport. I love it. We no question special asked. service. Oh, man. yeah. Yeah, I know. Infinite privilege. <laughs> yes. Visa something. Must be that. Uh, <laughs> so, Tito, I'm curious. You are the thing I think most of your fans, including us, appreciate about you is you're like, you're yourself. You know, you're very authentic. Um, take me back, like, when you even started racing to find your personality off the track while being competitive on the track. Did that take a bit of time to figure out? Uh, I think always here in the States, it's been very clear. Very talkative person, very outgoing, yes. you know, very much call call it as I see it. Uh, when I was overseas, a little different because they restrict you and they, you know, they tell you what you can and can't do and how you can and can't act and, you know, kind of lost a bit of who I was. So be back in IndyCar for the last seven years has been pretty awesome. And, you know, it's been a little, it's been a little fiery this year. <laughs> we love Not going to lie, but it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. And what do you look forward to Toronto this weekend? What's the goal? Man, last year, we really struggled as a whole. Mm. So, and it wasn't just here, it was everywhere. You know, our street course racing this year has been really great, yep. especially Detroit. Just looking forward to having one of those weekends. Mm. You know, I'd like to be fighting for a top five podium and a win. Nice. And I think we have the uh, car capable to do it. Yes. So, it'd be nice to, uh, to see that here in Toronto. And I know with driving... We talk to drivers sometimes, and there's sometimes where the car is a bit out of your control. You know, you can give feedback to the engineers, but at the end of the day, there's some days where it's just not going your way, and there's very limited things you could even do in the cockpit to change that. How do you disassociate kind of your, you know, I did a good job to, like, I could have done better, and there were things out of my control, and not to think about all of that? Uh, Man, it's tough. Like last year, we had a decent race car, but we got caught up in the first lap incident, so the floor was completely mangled. Yep. So you're just, you know, you're just trying to keep the car out of the wall, and it kind of is what it is. And then you look at a race like Iowa Race One, right? Passed a ton of cars, uh, got a drive-through penalty mm-hmm. at the start of the race, mm-hmm. which is unfortunate. But you know, we don't have that. We finish on the podium, fight for the win. But on the other hand, if that happens, you could also end up. We got trapped a lap down. So right. we made it back up. So we turned a really bad day into something Meaningful. really, really cool yeah. and really fun. So it's it's always it's not always clear who's at fault is a massive team sport. Yeah. It always is. Like if I also don't tell the engineers the correct thing about the car, they're not gonna set it up correct. And yeah. then I'm not happy either. So but like I said, at the end of the day, it's it's a whole team that people that move this thing forward in the right direction. Yeah. And talking even about routine, do you have any like unique superstition? <laughs> rituals that you do before getting to a race weekend or uh, even at the race at the race so i always get in on the car on the same side okay. I, I always get in the car on the left side yeah. yeah so it's where the the plug-in and bill cool is is yeah. that from the karting days too uh yeah. no yeah. i think it's just something i've always done in indycar and yeah. i just don't like getting in on the other side for whatever reason <laughs> yeah. so like and i also i have like a a chain and a cross that i've always worn since i was five years oh. old i've never taken it off 
Wow. Uh, I took it off once for a karting event, actually here in Canada, and wow. I had a really bad accident. So See? since then, I've never had it off. Yep. So I've had to get it lengthened. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can imagine, when you're a kid, you're kind of small. Yep. Yeah. So at some point, it was turning into almost a choker. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, time to add a couple inches to this. But um, no, it's, you know, those are really my only superstitions. Nothing like, you know, I only have to eat this meal or yeah. I can only do like this or I have to, you know, go to bed on, you know, my left foot or something. Like, yeah. nothing, <laughs> there's no like, there's no like strange rituals yeah. or stuff like that for me. Gotcha. And like you mentioned, you know, this season definitely has been more fiery. You know, there've been obviously a few run-ins between you and other drivers. I'm curious, do you just move on from those incidents or do you race those people differently, like on track then? Um, I move on. Like I have no, no reason to hold a grudge with anybody. Um, the other thing is like on track, like sometimes those incidents occur just due to, I want to say lack of communication more so than not. It's a misunderstanding between two drivers that creates an incident. Sometimes <laughs> everybody <laughs> learns from the incidents yeah. and sometimes it's continuously reoccurring and it's, it's quite interesting to see that. But right. um, no, it's, you know, at the end of the day, a little bit of drama didn't hurt anybody. Yeah. Also, it's kind of fun for the fans to watch. I think. Yeah, hundred percent. So give them. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'd watch it too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Watching yeah. it back, I'd be like, "Damn, yeah. come on, get after him." <laughs> so yeah, it's quite. It's definitely quite interesting. I think Iowa was a big one. You know, racing Kirkwood as hard as I did. Like I grew up in karting with him. So like, mm -hmm. when you're you have two people running side by side that tight, like you do have a lot of trust yep. in the other person to yeah. not make a mistake and take you out mm -hmm. like i would not run side by side by many people on the grid mm -hmm. he would be one of the few in exception like that that i would just sit there wheel, literally wheel to wheel yep. touching at yeah. 170 miles an hour and be fully confident in what's going on wow and then even outside of the track is there a group chat is there <laughs> something that keeps you guys still boys or you guys are still brothers are you still outside. Beefing so, it there? <laughs> yeah or is there still memes being said <laughs> so have you ever heard of the old adage if you haven't gotten a text in the group chat you're probably not in the right group chat oh yeah okay. no i <laughs> i'm clearly not in the right group chat so i very much keep to myself i bring my own friends and family and stuff to the race weekends um got one of my boys coming up from uh jersey this weekend hey. to be fun so he's wanted to come to toronto for quite some That's time cool. and you know we're gonna hang out and he's probably gonna go tear up the town uh, <laughs> yes. i mean i gotta work so yeah. like that that's sunday evening maybe yeah sunday uh, yeah. evening's questionable <laughs> yeah, but yeah, uh, yeah. i always laugh because all my friends we all have office jobs like they all work weekdays and i work weekends so like when we do get time to go and do stuff we try to make the most of it yes come on a tuesday night let's go <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah pretty much You're like hey let's go out on a monday and they're like it's monday and i'm like and it's my day off <laughs> yeah I know. like i just got home yeah. final question before going to the rapid fire which racing classification i know you've done f3 f2 you did nascar indy tested f1 tested f1 which one would you say was like the most challenging to adapt to mentally and physically oof uh that's a loaded question <laughs> so every car every series has their own unique set of challenges mm -hmm. the car that believe it or not i've had the most difficulty adjusting to is a dirt midget Wow. So it, it's the it, I have to unwire my brain every yeah. time I get behind the wheel and do everything in reverse. Wow. So it's like it's imagine, you know, you're righty, you write right handed all your life. And all of a sudden you just got to you get handed the pen and say, go right left and make it look just as good. Oh. You're just like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that so that was by far one of the most challenging things that I do. And I, you know, I love the dirt racing. The most fun I've had an oval racing uh other than Iowa and these cars, um, old Iowa, yep. was running the mile and a half tracks in the in the Xfinity stock car, mm. and then the coolest car, the fat like the fastest car to to lap just to run open laps is definitely the F1 car. But as far as series goes and dynamic for all round, the Indy car in this series has been so much fun, and wow. it's yep. an incredible series too with how challenging it is because yeah. yep. you never know what's going to happen. But some of the races this year for us, like as a driver, Barber have yep. been incredible. Huge. Detroit is a driver, incredible. Uh, even Mid Ohio coming from the back and yeah. you know Fighting going through. through. I love the races that require a lot of strategy. Yeah. Five hundred, a lot yep. of strategy. Oh. When it's not a fuel race, those are the best. Yep. Yep. So even Road America, I I love it when it's always a tires race and mm. you know if it's two stops or three stops or four stops, I love that. Yeah. I hate when it's just, you know. It's two stops. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Make it work. <laughs> like that that drives me nuts. Yeah. But when you have cars doing all sorts of different things, I gotta say the the, the coolest race all year so far for me, other than the five hundred, was Barber. Mm. That was I mean, a fun race. You had no idea what was going on. Mm -hmm. And Chaos. back to the front, to the back, to the front. <laughs> I mean, it was it was a blast. Fantastic. Let's do some rapid fire. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Rapid fire round. What is one regulation change you would like to see in IndyCar? You can wave a magic <laughs> wand, bang. Make it happen. One regulation change. Yeah. Anything. Anything. Ah, uh, man. Oh man, that's such a tough question. There's so many things that I want to say that I know I can't. <laughs> Give me about points. You can um, be about points. You know, I would really love if we adopted some of the. Uh, I'd love. To, let me rephrase this. I'd love to do. I'd love to change how we do starts and restarts mm. in the series. Yep. I'd love to go back to standing starts, mm. road and street. Yeah. Yep. And I'd love to go back. To, I'd love to do double file restarts on the oh. ovals. Wow. Damn. Love that. I mean, I think. I don't know. There's something about a standing start that's just sick. Yes. Yeah. It's exhilarating. It's even yeah. better for viewers, typically. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I grew up in Europe racing, yeah. and it was always standing starts. Yeah. I've never done rolling starts other than go-karts and IndyCar. Yep. And I think I'm also, I'm biased because I was always partial and really good at the lights. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so my dad was in drag racing, so like always had a thing for the, yeah. the quick release. Yeah. So it's, yeah. I'm very partial to going back to standing. That's a good one. I like that one. Okay, next question. If you had to choose one track or a Grand Prix to race forever, which mm -hmm. one would it be? Forever? Yeah. Toronto. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not whatever. on Lakeshore. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Uh, past, present, future, all of them? All. 500. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 going yeah, ovals yeah, 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 for the rest it's, of your life. Man, <sighs> It's it's to ovals probably indie, uh, road courses Portland, street courses Belle Isle. Okay, great. If you had to choose another sport to be a pro athlete in, what would it be? Can't golf. Be racing. Golf. Okay. Hey. Golf. I'm so terrible at golf, but I just do enjoy the game so much. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. Cool. Okay. What's the funniest or most embarrassing moment you ever had at a race weekend that people don't know about? We're exposing you here. Oof. <laughs> Embarrassing weekends. Or funny. Yeah. Like you're know, funny. Hilarious moment with your team. Ah, I just, <laughs> <laughs> it's always fun, man. It's it's <laughs> tough. It's tough. Um I'm I'm trying to think. I, there's not been too many times where I've been caught off guard or Ooh. been too embarrassed or because I'm a very open person. Yeah. Um I, you know, dude, that's a tough one. I don't know. Uh, cool. I'll, I'll think about it and get yep. back yeah, to you guys. Okay, Skip. Okay. Next one. But what, yeah. what piece of racing memorabilia would you like to own? Or do you currently own that you're like super proud of? Ooh, um, I would love to have a uh, like one of my, you know, Indy cars or something like just hanging on the wall. Yeah, like upside down. Yeah. 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 Like when I win one, you know, when we win one of these races. Yeah. That, that's like I want that car. Like, yeah. Just I just gonna put it in my dining room upside down. Yeah. You know, just let the wife know, hey, this is what's happening, and just be like, yeah, you got the, no it's the new man cave. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. sorry, <laughs> love it. Um, if you can have one superpower, what what would it be? Mm. Fly. Fly. Yep. Every, I feel like everybody's got to so, say they yeah. they want to fly. Or, or like, or what a tele being teleport. telekinetic, right? Yeah. Oh no, or teleport. Teleporting. But yeah, some people, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, would, if you can teleport with everything and all your stuff, right? I mean, I just feel like if you fly, like, you can kind of, like, carry on the magic carpet behind you and just, like, <laughs> with all of your stuff and go with it. And it would become the news. Like, it would be oh, on the news. 100%. No one would really know you're teleporting. I mean, they kind of would, yeah. I guess. Well, you can say it was my twin. How would they know? True. I mean, being invisible is always kind of cool, but I feel like that's kind of creepy. That's kind of creepy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, kinda, it's a little creepy. <laughs> I feel like people that have some deep, dark secrets that yeah. they want to be invisible. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, what's the most over-asked question that you mm. typically get? What's it like driving an Indy car? Oh <laughs> every time. Every time. So, what, oh, damn. We should take that question out then. Next question. If you can have one food for the rest of your life, steak. what would it be? Hey. Oh, yeah. Steak. Let's had steak go. last night. Hey. Where? Steak. Uh, Morton's. Morton's. Okay. That's yeah. a good spot. So, yep. So, uh, had a nice strip. No, no complaints. Oh, 
Let's go. If you could switch lives with anyone for a day, who would it be and why? Anyone? Anyone. Ooh. Anyone in the world. Ooh, who do I want to be? Man, that's so tough because, like, I feel like being a race car driver, it's so cool. Mm. So, I mean, I don't know. It would be fun to – honestly, I'd go be a fighter pilot for a day or something, something nice. unique. Like, yeah, just yeah. – I just really wanted to fly those planes, yeah. Yeah. like always as a kid. Yeah. So like, I feel like if I ever got the full day opportunity, just like Hold send on. it. Yeah, You're I feel like I'd, I'd I'd do that. Yeah. Some, something like that. I feel like it'd be a lot of fun. I yeah. watched Top Gun Maverick like seven times. <laughs> <laughs> See, the first person when you say it changed, it's like Tom Cruise. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah, like yeah. in my head, I'm like, that'd be pretty sick. Yeah. Like it'd be pretty cool to be like Tom Cruise for a day doing one of those like, things. Like where are we going? Space? Like where are we going? Yeah, I know, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, like. Yeah, it's, it's unique. It's unique, right? Yeah. So you get to do so many different things. Cool. Yep. Favorite guilty pleasure TV show? Guilty pleasure TV show. Ooh. Um. I watched Friends. I do occasionally when I see Friends on, I will leave it on. I oh. do do not mind. I love a bit good bit good of Friends. Little yeah. bit of little bit of Ross and what the, uh, his favorite thing where you go like this. I yeah. forget what it means, but yes, oh, the, 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 yes, yeah. I love that. Oh it's amazing. It's such it's such a good TV show. Yeah, brilliant. And then final question: You're stranded on an island. Which three drivers on the current indie grid are joining you? You've got to be kidding! Me. <laughs> I gotta pick three. Three drivers. They're joining you. You yeah. could actually pick them also to like get you off the island if yeah. you wanted to. Uh, willpower. Okay. Pick one. Yep. It's probably the person I talk to the most on the grid. Nice. Uh, I think we gotta go with good old teammate Stingray, not just for entertainment value because he's <laughs> funny as hell, but you might ha know something a thing or two. <laughs> you might, you might. Being yeah. Sting, you know, being Stingray, you never know. And then uh, third driver, we need someone that we can kind of like easily annoy. <laughs> I feel like, oh man, I would, I would, I would drag someone along. Actually, you know what? It wouldn't be a bad thing. I'd bring Rossi because he knows how to fly a plane. Yep. Ah, uh, great. We'll get you out. So, yeah, and I can always poke the bear. Yeah. <laughs> very <laughs> entertainment. I love very, it. Very good entertainment for me right good there. Answer. Good We're answer. We're rooting you on. Yes. Thank you so much for coming on, Santino. Guys, please go and check him out. His socials are going to be below. Make sure to root him on. Generally, one of the most authentic drivers that you're going to see in racing all around. Any final words? No, yeah, thank you guys for having me on. Enjoy Toronto. This Hello. is... Uh, it's a staple place to be, man. It's one of the best street courses around, and it's been around for the longest time. Yeah. Most iconic moment, other than Tracy winning in 03, is probably Bourdais dropping the trophy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I know that is because I was teammates with him. Yeah. So, we'll put yes. the clip right there. Big, big clip. Yeah. I love uh, it. Thank, thank you, you so guys. Much. We'll see you guys in the next episode.